I was talking to a young musician friend recently and the phrase jazz twat came up and he asked me, what's a jazz twat then? So I thought it might be useful to actually define what is a jazz twat here for the edification of future generations. A jazz twat is someone who has spent more hours than is healthy learning and practicing obscure scales, arpeggios and bebop licks and has got them to the point where they can play them faster than the human brain of the listener can comprehend them. They then play these licks in places where the only connection with the chords underneath are purely theoretical in the wildest reaches of advanced mathematics. The jazz twat then takes the view that any other musician who cannot play these particular scales and arpeggios in this particular way is clearly incompetent and has no right to call themselves a musician. How do you know when you've got a jazz twat in your studio? Easy. Put up a ballad, tell them, preferably with a break in your voice, that this is a song about the death of a very, very close loved one and that you want some fills between the vocals. Very, very sparse. Just answer the vocal lines with very sparse fills. And hit record. If you have a jazz twat in the studio, what you will hear is... Yeah, okay, you might say. There's some nice ideas there, but I kind of need about half as much, really. Much less. Let's have another take, if that's all right. Hit record again. Yeah, okay, we're getting there, yeah. I wonder if you could just leave spaces for the vocals and answer the vocals. What do you mean, replies the jazz twat. I can hardly play any less. The greatest compliment one jazz twat can pay another is to say that, oh yeah, he's a ridiculous player to describe his playing as ridiculous. Yeah, I agree, although I think my use of the word is perhaps slightly different. That's a jazz twat. Enjoy.